I'm doing a series where every week leading up to Deadpool and Wolverine, I'm revisiting an X-Men movie and creating custom Lego minifigures from each movie. That brings us to Deadpool, and oh my gosh, guys, we're in for a great video today. I loved re-watching this movie. I think it's aged super, super well, and it just has me that much more excited for Deadpool and Wolverine coming out very soon. So let's jump into making these customs using Lego parts and pieces and kick off the video. All right, we'll start off with Wade Wilson and Vanessa, both of which are pretty simple to make. The Wade torso comes from Lego City from a few years back. That gets you like the red jacket with the kind of fluff on the collar. And then of course, black legs and the head that they used on Ant-Man in the Avenger sets. Of course, he could really just kind of use any generic head here. And for his side fade cut that we see in the movie, uh, I went ahead and used a pair of wire cutters to cut the sides off of just some flat Lego hair. It actually doesn't look too bad from the front, and I think it works pretty decent for here. I used that for Endgame Hawkeye many, many years ago, and I thought about that piece when making this and thought, well, it works pretty good here too. For Vanessa, I went a lot more basic. The head comes from Wonder Woman with some long brown hair. I think you could argue that her hair is actually black in the movie, but I like this style, and I don't know if I have this hairstyle in black. I can't think of where it is if I do. So um, yeah, basically that's what I used there. Then of course the torso comes from Maisie from Jurassic World with jeans for legs. And of course you gotta have them hold hands. And finally, Wade only looks like this for a little bit of the movie. So I would recommend using the Anakin head, the scarred up Anakin head from many years ago from Lego Star Wars for the burn victim version of Deadpool, which I think works pretty well all these years later. All right, up next, we've got Weasel and Blind Owl, Wade's friends, and these were relatively simple to make, honestly. I'm pretty happy with the way both turned out. For Weasel, I used Thor hair with the Chris Hemsworth head from Ghostbusters, ironically. The torso comes from Marty McFly with dark blue arms, tan hands, and gray legs. And for Blind Owl, this one was a little tricky to make, to be honest, just because there aren't a ton of Lego figures in general that have sunglasses, so finding one that looked like Blind Owl was... Definitely a little difficult, but what I used here is the head from Luke Cage. There are no gray afro pieces as of this video, so I just used this hair, which I think came on Mrs. Scratch and Post from the Lego movie. I flipped around the torso from Owen from Jurassic World, put the Luke Cage hands on there to match the head, which is where that head came from, and dark gray legs with a walking stick to finish out the figure. Of course we couldn't make this video without the taxi driver, and basically we really only see him from the shoulders up for the most part. He does kind of have like a collared shirt on, and honestly, the torso I used here came from one of the uh, spring celebration sets. Um, I just like this torso a lot. I've wanted to use it in something for a long time, and I don't know if I've ever used it on a custom, so I don't think it super, super matters. I mean, like, you could also use this torso from Ross from LEGO Friends, it doesn't really matter, but I did want to shout him out. The head and hands come from Namor from Black Panther Wakanda Forever, and I gave him some swept to the side black hair, and of course the legs don't super matter, so I just picked something that I thought would match pretty well. Up next, we've got Negasonic Teenage Warhead and Colossus. I really like the way both of these turned out. For Negasonic, I used Finn's hair with the head from Bellatrix from Harry Potter. The torso comes from Sinestro from DC, which I actually think looks pretty darn good, all things considered, with black arms, black hands, a cell phone in her hand, and mid-sized legs to show that she's not quite as tall as everybody else. Speaking of height, I used one-by-one -one square studs on Colossus's black feet to make him a little bit taller. The torso is the flipped around torso from Nightwing from DC with metallic arms and black hands on both sides. The head coming from the Ebony Maw from the Sanctum Sanctorum and some flat top black hair to finish out the character. All right, up next is Ajax and Angel Dust. I think both of these turned out really well too, if I can be honest. For Angel Dust, I used the Luke cage torso aka power man from spider-man with black arms and black hands and black legs and since gina carano played the character and she already had a minifig from the mandalorian i went ahead and used the head from cara dune with this black hair that came from lego friends i think that that worked out really well and i like the way it looks moving over to ajax the head comes from dj from lego star wars the torso is from Killmonger from Black Panther. Then the arms I used are actually Rex Danger Vest's arms from the Lego Movie 2. I gave him these kind of like axe looking pieces in both hands with dark gray legs to finish it out. And like I said, I'm pretty happy with the way both of these turned out. 
And of course, that brings us to the final character himself, Deadpool. Guys, I hate to say it, but the 2012 Deadpool is literally perfect, and I cannot think of a better way to represent the figure than to just use this one. Now, that being said, if you've seen my video in the past, I do recommend using the Comic-Con figure's head, uh, you know, because it's just a little bit more accurate from the Cowboy Deadpool, but I realize so few people have regular Deadpool, and even fewer people have the Comic-Con version, that I do think that this is the lowest barrier to entry version of Deadpool you can have that would work. Now, for those of you that can't afford Deadpool, because he's like worth over $100 now, I did make a version here, and I want to reward you guys for hanging out and watching today's video and show you a way to make Deadpool with without using any pieces from Deadpool. Is it as good as the official figure? No, but it's definitely a lot cheaper. The torso and legs come from the Hank Pym minifigure from the 2015 Ant-Man set. Then I gave him the silver swords just so that I didn't use any pieces from the original Deadpool. Then he's got black hands and red arms and the head from Scarlet Spider from the Mighty Micro set many years ago. So is it perfect? No. Is it better than the official figure? Also no, but it is technically cheaper than the official figure, and I'm always trying to help you guys out. So with that being said, let's round out the video and call it a day. All right, guys, let me know what you thought of this showcase in the comments down below. Be sure to hit like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys on the next video.